Hello, this is Seal Chan, and this is episode 6 of my Infinity Evolved Progressive Let's Play. And you may have noticed there's a little bit of a change to my base camp. Yay, I built something. Don't get too excited, though. I'm still working out the details of the build the building process. I hear the music coming, so let's go and take a walk. Yes, the sun is setting, and I have to run right back, but I wanted to show you, uh, I actually, uh, everything you saw on the immediate horizon, as soon as I stopped walking, um, is still within this biome, but just over that next rise behind me, um, was finally the end of that biome, so just explored this biome in multiple phases in the early game. It's hard to go too far and you have to run back before it gets dark. Alright, episode 6. It's round 6. Let me just go through the numbers and I'll explain what I did. Um, let's see, the digger. So yes, this is exactly where I had base camp. That was dirt stacked too high on the outside and I could just jump in over the wall um, exact same location I just took out all that dirt and oh, got a lag here excuse me and I put in uh, oak wood planks three high regular window spacings and a couple of doorways uh, this is going to be the community storage for the kind of spread out village build I'm going to do in this particular biome. Each biome is going to have its own potential um, development and I've got an idea about where I'm going to put the home base. I uh, don't have the specific location but I have the basic criteria uh, which I'll probably not share with you yet but um, yeah so Anyway, the digger achieved a stack of dirt by the, uh, so 
So I got 30 here and 60 here. Um, by just digging all of this up, and there's an inner bench here, right, where you could step up and then jump up to the next level. Just picking all that up, I got my stack of dirt. So um, I don't really have a good place to go and get more dirt whenever I want yet, since I don't have access to a cavern. But uh, yeah. Anyway, I just went ahead and qualified dirt as a item I can supply. Um, and the builder um, did the work, um, so to speak, contracting the digger to clear the walls out. The builder um, crafted up a bunch of oakwood planks and built this structure here. I'm still running back to base camp every night, so I'm still constrained to this bed. I haven't moved the bed. This is uh no yes that's precisely where the bed has always been i always started off my videos right here and the kind of dirt over my head and to my sides same orientation um i just put in the dirt walls i was just eager to do something build wise uh, let's see here, and, and as you can see, I've got a double chest, I've got enough stuff that I had to put it in there. Um, I went and plopped down the crafting table that I crafted from the research last round. So now I'm allowing myself to um, research and craft items on a full 3x3 three three grid. Yay! Okay, um... Yeah, so this does also break my pattern that I'm going to be using. Um, each crafting machine, and the crafting table is the typically first one that you would make, um, should be housed in its own workshop. This is community storage and is not technically a workshop. Um, so this guy is going to need to move to a new build, but I'm still not at a point where I'm ready to just go ahead and build stuff uh, for various reasons, which I'm covered in earlier videos, but um, probably mention again a little, bit, a little bit later. So I allowed myself that because again, it's early game. You gotta flex a little bit just to get things going, and so that's exception number three, right? The bed I gave myself, uh, the chest, um, whose recipe I did discover this round, but have not officially crafted the first time. And uh, putting the crafting table down here. Uh, probably carry a crafting table around anyway, so that's a minor break in the pattern. Also, the digger I assigned to collect one clay block and one mud block. So we have clay balls and mud balls and I did that just because of that. So just like with stone, I've actually assigned the miner to gather one piece of stone just because I know from doing the research that uh, with a pickaxe, when I finally get one, it's going to drop cobblestone. So I just collected one of the block, knowing I wasn't going to gather that block itself, but a drop instead. Now when I research this, um, I will set, if I haven't already, I think I already have, I already set a goal to get a stack of clay balls, a stack of mud balls, uh, just by going out and finding acceptable places uh, to harvest those items. So um, that got done. So that was the digger, got a little bit of action there. Uh, the explorer, um, we finished exploring this biome. And it extends bordered by a river on to the south, the ocean to the north. Um, here's the uh, Biomes of Plenty deciduous forest biome here. And the Biomes of Plenty marsh over here. Uh, it's because uh, my arrow is too far away. You can see that if I go too far, it loses at the very bottom. Uh, it loses track of, it won't tell you what the biome is, but I know this is the marsh, this very m mostly water area. But you can see in here, I'm probably going to get some clay right out of this area. 
and uh, even in the prairie biome and I did encounter some mud blocks in the prairie biome as well but I may wait until I see a more plentiful supply like over here in the marsh when I start exploring that. And lo and behold, if I hadn't shown this to you before, here is one of those meteorite impacts from Applied Energistics. Uh, when I ran, when I ran the, at the beginning of the video to the music, I came up to about this hill here, and so all you could see was still prairie to this mountain. But beyond this mountain, just down here, is a a meteorite, and it got some really weird water rendering going on in here. But um, this will allow me the opportunity to quarry gravel cobblestone, maybe even stone. Um, and I can clear this out. In the center is that sky stone um, that's super hard. I'm not going to be able to quarry that, but I can try cleaning up enough of these blocks to give me my stack of cobblestone that I'm trying to get so that I can officially research that and discover the recipe for the furnace, which grants me the power to make torches, and I can finally go into caverns. So anyway, this is the extent of the whole biome. Again, at the beginning of the video, I ran up to here. Huge flat area through here, all the way up this way, um, bordering this marsh area. Um, here's probably the largest cavern entrance. I think I showed you that in the last video, or two back. Um, yeah, good stuff. Let me check the daylight situation. Yeah, we're still good. So, lots of interesting terrain. Um, hills, but also some flat areas. I'm um, getting excited to finally be able to start um, building out what I'd call a um, uh, the village, uh, a spread out village with farms and other resources at various places, probably connected with paths, um, roads, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do yet, uh, but we're going to be going eventually to all these neighboring biomes, exploring them as well, setting up farms, quarries, that sort of thing, at just the right pace so that we don't get bogged down from pursuing the main progression. So, um, any case, let's continue. That's the explorer. The farmer. The farmer built the water artichoke crop. It's in a temporary location, probably along with any of my farms at this point. Down here, um, the water arti artichoke we had water water artichoke seeds that c came from breaking some grass that is a witchery mod item and you actually right click on the surface of a water block and it will place that plant on the surface of the water so here we have well this one has not matured yet we have three fully matured water artichoke um plants here and we'll be harvesting those. Oh, it's getting dark again already. Yep. Alrighty. So that's something that the farmer did. The forester um, had the task of, since the forester is now equipped with a pair of shears, the wood shears from uh, Thermal Foundation, uh, was very easily able to harvest a stack of leaves, like, very easy. I just harvested just over a stack, and gave myself that credit. So we are officially able to supply wood, what is this, oak wood, now known as the oak log, uh, saplings, and oak leaves. Awesome. Uh, let's see, that's the forester, and that's it, uh, and then we're talking about the researcher again. Um, so, the researcher, this round, uh, I want to discuss with you a, uh, research phase called Discover Recipe. So, some of the things that 
I had at the very beginning like the world domination with open blocks book the quest book uh, what else did we have there's another book where did it go right there the tinkers construct materials and you volume one those are all craftable items that I just got as if they dropped out of the sky um, those items uh, the first step in researching the item itself other than to use the item as a source of information um, was to determine that the best way to get more of these would be to craft them uh, I don't have the materials necessary to craft these things yet so I put them down on my list as discover recipe which means that the next phase of their development is that I'm just going to continue the development of collecting raw materials and researching recipes until I find those recipes that allow me to craft these items. Now it doesn't make a lot of sense to craft a stack of them or anything like that. It's just part of the research uh, and the process of progression and finding out about all the things that you can make. So, in any case, those books get used every round when I do research. Oops, I better eat something. Excuse me. Oh, those berries didn't go too far, did they? Let's try these. Oh, this is a lot faster. I should remember that. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, so yeah, discover recipe... Um, those are just going to sit there until I discover their recipe and then I'll progress forward if there's a really any point to doing that um, with anything I can craft using those items. Uh, but oh yeah, and I was to say at the end of each round part of the research is to not only check out my achievements but it's to go into each of these books, remind myself of what's to come and as they help, uh, each of these books helps with the mod or the mod pack in general is letting you know what to do next and um, so I just keep reading a little bits of that so that I'm aware of that all right so um, no, that's not right in my right hand here are the wood shears um, technically uh, what I do want to do is um, at the, each round that I actually equip an item uh, I want to talk about it of course, I've been looking forward a lot lately because there's been so much to look forward to and so little to show. But yeah, shears, they work. They're cheap. Two oak wood planks. I can cut... Uh, when I was clearing a little ground, I, I took care to actually uh, passively collect whatever I had to rather than just breaking and losing it. So I'm starting to collect these biomes of planting grasses. Um, because I can now with the shears. Um, so yeah, it's it's allowing me now to harvest more. Even though I'm not trying to just go around and get a 20, 64 stack of all these. I will probably get that just by building in this biome. So yeah, and then I'll take a look and see if there's anything to research. Uh, re recipe wise with those items. Um, and of course we have our first uh, crafting machine uh, the crafting table round six that's right episode six boy I've been happy to see this thing coming uh, compared to the two by two crafting grid this thing is a blessing and boy do I appreciate it and that's the fun of doing a real progression is remembering how awesome these early game things really are you lose touch of that with that when you uh, play over and over, and you're, you know, geared up to, you know, kill the Ender Dragon in three days and all that sort of stuff. No, we're gonna take our time. We're gonna do all the things in this mod pack. So, this crafting table allowed me to do a lot of more research. I have a few new items here that have been crafted. I haven't fully researched yet. Well, talk about some of these uh, in the future, probably next round. Um, so I'm beginning to accumulate things. Um, next round I'll have so many more things that I've discovered through recipe research that it's really going to start to take off and you'll soon forget about how long it took me to get to this guy. So 
anyway, um, that is everything that I did. So let me put your camera in front of my face and say I'm hoping that you're enjoying the series again. Um, progression is happening, and I hope that I'm explaining the process well enough that you appreciate it and you're interested and or excited to see what's going to happen next. Anyway, thank you for watching.